Are you new to whole food plant-based eating? Are you new to the starch solution? Or are you new to just being more plant-based? And you're a little confused, a little overwhelmed? Well, stay tuned for this video because I think I have some tips that are gonna help you out. I'm gonna break it down. I'm gonna make it so simple. It's gonna be easy as one, two, three. So let's get started. Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew On Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. If you're new here, welcome. I am a plant-based RN and I follow the Starch Solution. The Starch Solution is a program that was developed by Dr. John McDougall. And the Starch Solution is a whole food, plant-based, no oil way of eating. It is a starch-centered diet. So we get to eat potatoes and rice and corn and oats and all kinds of veggies. It's very simple to follow and the best part is it is effective. Following the start solution, I lost those last 15 pounds that were hanging around. Uh, after menopause, I just could not get rid of it. And I went on the start solution and I was able to lose those last 15 pounds. And the best part is I have continued to eat this way and I've kept it off. So I'm going to give you some examples in a moment, but basically, how I break down the starch solution is you really only need three things. You need a starch, you need a veggie, and you need a sauce. Very simple. And if you just think of it in terms of those three things, when you're first starting out, it makes life a lot easier. Now the key is you do need to do some prep work. So you need to bake a bunch of potatoes, make some rice. Uh, you want to have lots of frozen veggies in your freezer if you really want to make it easy, or you have veggies that are pre-steamed, or you have veggies that you've prepped on the weekend for the week, and you want to have some canned beans, legumes, and you may want to have a little tofu in there as well. But to start off, you just want to think about starch, veggie, and a sauce. And the sauces are very simple. I have a recipe for a plant-based cheese sauce, it's delicious on your potatoes. You can use it on tacos, on pizzas, whatever you want. But to start off, starch, veggie, and a sauce. So cheese sauce is one. I also love coconut aminos. A barbecue sauce is great. And then I also make a three, two, one salad dressing, which is three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of mustard, and a tablespoon of maple syrup. And that goes great on everything. Veggies, potatoes, rice, very versatile. Let me take you in for a closer look and I'm gonna show you some examples of what I use on the daily. Now, I always have some variation of these kind of frozen veggies in my freezer. This is the Normandy style vegetable blend and it's got cauliflower, broccoli, yellow carrots, orange carrots. Great choice for a veggie mix here. Then I also have these broccoli florets. These come in bags. There's four in here. You just put the bag in the microwave. Can't get much easier than that. So if you just start with having a couple of big bags like this in your freezer, I got both these at Costco. Costco also has a really delicious stir fry blend. And I usually have a bag of that, but they were out the last time I went. So I just picked up these two and these are gonna work great for me for the week. And I eat super simply during the week, Monday through Friday, pretty much the same thing over and over, which is fine with me. It just makes my life easy. I don't like to have to stress about what I'm gonna eat, what's next, what am I gonna do? I just, I don't wanna think about it. I just want to have my food ready so I can throw it in my lunch bag, come home from work, throw it in the microwave, dinner is served. So I highly suggest getting two big bags of veggies I mean, this is gonna last you for the week unless you have a really huge family. And this one's four pounds and this is five and a half pounds. So it should get you through most of the week. And then of course you could throw in some fresh veggies too if you'd like, but I'm just telling you this is how you can make it super easy, especially when you're first starting. So let's move on to our starches. Now these are my choices for starches. I've got Yukon Gold Potatoes here, and I use this to make my one of my sauces too, but we'll get to that. So Yukon Gold Potatoes, and then your standard russet potatoes. 
And then sweet potatoes, and these are the Murasaki or Japanese sweet potatoes. These are my favorite. I also like the Hana yams, which are also known as white yams, the lighter colored yams. I don't even bother with those other yams, those orange yams. I think they're horrible. They're just mushy and they, ugh, they don't have much flavor. The Japanese sweet potato is a little starchier, but really sweet and so good. And same with the Hana yam. Hana yam is almost like candy. It's just delicious. So I always have the Yukon Gold, the Russet, and these uh, Japanese sweet potatoes. And I just cook these all on the weekend. I'll bake up a bunch of the potatoes, uh, and I bake up a bunch of the sweet potatoes, and then I've got them on hand ready to go. And this is just my leftover rice. You can see I had some of that today. And I mix white rice and brown rice together. I use equal parts, say one cup of white, one cup of brown, and then two cups of water and it works perfect in my rice cooker. So I know some people think that brown rice will cook in a different amount of time than the white rice, but I never have a problem. They, they cook perfectly and that's what I do is I mix the two together. Because I don't really want to eat all white rice, but then I don't want to eat all brown rice, so I just mix them together. Problem solved. Now let's move on to a few of my favorite sauces. Now some of my favorite sauces, of course my plant-based cheese sauce. And this is so easy to make. I will leave a link to the recipe in the description box. Couldn't be easier. This is great on potatoes. Like I said, if you want to do it on, you can make quesadillas with it, grilled cheese, possibilities are endless. But for the beginning, maybe you just want to put this on your potatoes and your veggies. So cheese sauce, always have that on hand. Then coconut aminos. This is great in your stir fries. If you're going to make up a little stir fry, you can use this. Or you know what? I just put this over veggies and rice. Love it. It's good. Simple. Uh, liquid aminos is another one. This is good, but to me this is a little bit salty, so I use it sparingly. But it's good to flavor things for sure. My sweet chili sauce. This is from Trader Joe's, but any sweet chili sauce that you find that fits the start solution guidelines is great. You don't want oil in it. This does have a little bit of sugar in it, but Dr. McDougall is not against sugar and he's not against salt either. So I really like this and it's $1.69 a bottle. So you can't beat the price. Then the salad dressing that I like to make, or you can use this on veggies and rice and potatoes as well is my three, two, one dressing. I didn't invent this. I use it all the time. So you just want to take a little jar. I save all my jars because they're great for things like this. And then you're going to take balsamic vinegar. And I love this Rocky Mountain Olive Oil Company. Also California Balsamic is also great. They have flavored uh, balsamic vinegars. This one is peach, which I love now that we're getting into spring. This one's so good. So I'm going to show you how I make this right in front of your very eyes. And I'm going to show you how easy it is. So we're going to do three tablespoons of the vinegar. And I hope I have enough. So three of those. And I'm just using Dijon mustard. You could use whatever kind of mustard you want. And we're going to do two tablespoons of this. And then lastly is one tablespoon of maple syrup. Then you just want to put the lid on and shake it up. And there you go. You have a easy, simple salad dressing or dressing for or sauce for your veggies, potatoes, rice, whatever. I use it on everything. Then of course, ketchup. This is great to put on your air fryer fries, which you will use with your potatoes. You can't go wrong with ketchup. So ketchup, always have that on hand. And then I like barbecue sauce too. And just find a good no oil barbecue sauce. 
doesn't matter what brand. You have to be a label reader and make sure there's no oil in your dressings and your sauces. And you want as few ingredients as possible on that label. So once you get started with your plant-based journey and you feel like, okay, I can do this starch, veggie, sauce thing, then you'll want to add some beans. And I've got some garbanzo beans, black beans, you can use pinto beans. Also some lentils, I love red lentils, green lentils. They're gonna give you a little bit more fiber, a little bit more protein, a little bit more variety, and then you can start making different recipes. But I really encourage you to, you know, the first week or two, just go slow and just be make it simple. And maybe if you're very new, you're coming from the standard American diet, maybe you just want to do uh, one meal a day and then just build up to getting more and more plant-based. So these three are a nice little addition once you get going. So I hope this video helped you kind of break it down, make it simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. I've been doing this for a long time and I still keep it so simple. It's ridiculous if you saw what I eat every day. It is a vegetable, it is a starch, it is a sauce, okay? That's gonna be like your main thing. And of course, I eat oatmeal and I eat fruit and other veggies. I'm just trying to show you that you don't have to start off doing 50 million recipes and all these things and oh, you're going crazy. Just say, okay, what starch do I want? What veggie do I want? What sauce do I want? Let's start there. You know, when you're overwhelmed, you're just gonna throw in the towel and say, forget it, this is too much. But if you keep it simple, you're gonna continue on with it. And be sure to check out my recipes. They're very simple. I'm sure you will find ones that you can do even if you're just starting out. And if you're really just brand, brand new and so confused, I would be happy to work with you. I do do one-on-one -on -one coaching, so send me an email to chewonvegan at gmail.com and I'll be happy to send you an email with all the details. So if you've made it this far in the video, I really appreciate it. And if you could comment below with simple, then I'll know that you've made it to the end with me and I really appreciate it. And if you like this video, if you got value out of it, if you learned something, please hit the like button. It really helps my channel to grow. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. I'm just showing you a few simple tricks to get you started and I have more up my sleeve. So keep watching and remember that all my recipes are good for you. They're good for the animals and they're good for the planet and what you put on your plate determines your fate and your weight. Until next time, thank you. Then last but certainly not least, oh wait, I lied. Nope, do I wanna mention this? Just send me an email at chewonvegan at gmail. Oh my God. And all my recipes are good for you. They're good. no, no, no.